we're on a change of pace right now. We're working on my brother's cars. And in this case, and I, I, I guess that case too, it's totally worth it. They're not my babies, but uh, I still love them as my brother's children. So in this case, we're working on Kev's 12C, his McLaren. And as you know, I love stealth wrapping my cars. I got the CTSV over there, but uh, we're gonna take this car and protect it. And not just protecting it, we're gonna wrap it in stealth film. What we're doing right now is getting as much slave labor out of my brother as possible, making him clean his own car, which is good for him and the car. You're not gonna be putting film down on all this, you can almost see all, all here, all this dust. There's tons of dust all over the car from being in a non-clean environment. So we're using like a polymer type quick detail, which is great to clean off the surface. You know, you normally you can wash the car, but in this case, you can also use a polymer based quick detailer. Once that's down, then we put the Expel film on after we put the Expel gel. So we had tested out these pieces first, so you can see that this is stealth, and this is still just the, the car, gloss black. But imagine that whole car all wrapped up, you can see the difference right there. So this is going to be a pretty sexy car. Kev, in this case, Kev wants to leave the hood gloss. I think that's ugly as hell. But for sure, we all agree, keeping the hood gloss black and just having these trimmed out in stealth. Just to clarify, this is not how we do it normally at the shop. This is more just because it's our own cars. One thing I've realized for sure is that the bottom of the bottle tends to have shit on it if you don't hang it off like a stand or something like that. Where, like, you'll lean over like this, yeah. and I've gotten shit in it. So this is probably going to be the... If you're at a, like a normal shop, you can stick the film on a wall, which is what we do is like a glass wall backwards, mm -hmm. pull the backing off, and then uh, spray it down again so you get double goo. But again, we're doing you know, a garage install, which you know, you're not, we're not going to end up with anything under the film, but you increase your chances of it. So I guess we'll start with the front side because you know you, you want to start with edges that you know for sure uh, because this see all these see these like like extra dimples here you end up stretching the film here and see how they start to disappear can't do that until you start setting down the main line You realize it's more than likely that my brother has put his mouth on this, and I have as well. <laughs> Not that incest is cool or anything like that. It's nice to push the excess, excess goo into areas that you're going to need it later. 
That's something that I've realized helps instead of squeegeeing it all out. So the film coming up like that repeatedly is because it's too close to the edge and it's got tension. So the quick solution is to just dry it by hand, like put like a rag on it, and then uh, it'll, the edges will stick. But you can't go too crazy with that or you'll, it'll still peel up. So this is just an example of doing one piece on the car. And you can see it's like, it's more of an art than a science, or maybe a little bit of both. but. You get this nice smooth feeling that you, you can tell when there's like little really small bumps. I'll show you. I'm not gonna pretend I'm perfect. Got a little baby bump of, of water right there. It's very hard to see. Sizes that small will end up absorbing into the film. So you can you can uh, you know you know when when to let it go. Sometimes you can just let the smaller bubbles can absorb back into the paint. But but you can tell the sign of somebody who knows what they're doing, or at least has had a horrible time for the last couple of years learning, is, let me check this out. This spot right here, when you have pieces seam and butt up together, especially when they're coming from totally different areas of the car, that takes a lot of patience and planning to stretch the film in the right way so that way it looks completely seamless.